Welcome to Tech Notice Livestream. I can see a lot of people there on the comments already and we're going to be doing something live. Not sure if you remember this video I posted yesterday about this pro art. I'll show you this live. This laptop is still bricked, okay? There's a few uh, lap uh, in instances, in fact, quite a few online where you can see, look, this is what's going to happen. This is just stuck in that little, like, uh, flash update progress and nothing nothing changes right but um, I finally got an answer from my ASUS contact that seems to be an official fix for this and that doesn't seem to be so complicated some other people online have actually figured this out but I want to do it live to see if we can actually fix this live and I didn't want to do a video because if I try to fix it off camera then it's kind of, kind of hard for me to recreate the problem so we're gonna to have to do it live and um, hello everybody I'm not sure if you actually know what is going on with this I'm gonna leave um, this i'll put this in the comment section below if you don't know what i'm talking about uh, i'll put this in the chat we're trying to fix this issue so if anybody wants to i'm going to pin this comment so if you if you don't know what the heck's going on feel free to check that video out um where i'm talking a bit more into this but there is Good. You also posted a community post. Yes, I am saying I did post a community post and um, there is, uh, yeah, anyway, there's a few things going on. If I can actually answer some of your comments as well, feel free to ask whatever you want. In fact, I'm going to tackle one of them first because I've seen uh, this comment quite a few times on the comments. Uh, Suomava Dutta is saying, waiting for the 4060 Ti 16GB creator review, when will it be live? Here's the thing, I'm not actually going to make the review of it because it's absolutely a um, waste of time. Because the card is exactly the same, it just has doubled the VRAM. And because the card is still limited or bottlenecked by the memory bus, it doesn't make a difference whether you've got more VRAM of there or less because um, even if the applications, have a look at my 4060 Ti review, even in the applications where VRAM capacity is in the bottleneck, the speed of it and the bus is, so there's that. So let me know if anyone in the comments is experiencing this issue right now. Is anybody there whose laptop is right now uh, actually bricked? So let me let me know. But there is good news as well because we've got a sponsor. As always, you might have seen these guys. Whokeys.com. Let's have a look at their little sponsored segment now. Looking for a cheap way to license your Windows? Check out Whokeys through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out Whokeys.com in the video description below. Okay. Um, if you do want to check out and get yourself a free, um, not free, very affordable Windows, then check out the links in the description below, like mentioned there. Oh, this is still doing it. I'm going to have to, okay, turn it off because I can feel it getting warm. So, uh, someone is saying, am I going to do an ARC A770 review, 16 gigabytes on the channel? Yes, the reason why I haven't done this yet, and I've been in close contact with Intel for a long time, asking, can we make the review, can we make the review? But because ARC is still not 100% supported on Adobe, for example, all the media engines inside the graphics card, which are like the best in the market, better than NVIDIA in a lot of the cases, they're still not like, they don't give you hardware acceleration through Adobe because Adobe hasn't like made the software use this. So there's kind of no point in me making the review because it's not fully supported yet and we we can't like see the performance out there. But once it is like ready or, you know, published, we'll, we'll get it out there. And I want to make uh, a mention about another thing, which is this chair. I've seen a few people ask about the chair and I'm not sure if you've noticed, I have tried different chairs recently. Um, I had a black one. And then a year or two ago, we had a different one um, that I was editing on. And then I had a little like a stool that I was sitting on. But this one is absolutely amazing. Uh, and I'm debating whether I, I want to do actually a dedicated video about the chairs that I'm sitting on, because 
if you're in a situation where you have to sit a lot, having a good chair is like a lifesaver, literally. I was suffering lots with like a lot of lower back pains, um, but then this is one of the best chairs. In fact, this is the best one I have tried. This is from FlexiSpot that actually does the table as well. I had the table and the legs from FlexiSpot, but they also do chairs. And I asked, look, uh, can I try this chair because I've got some back problems and this is absolutely incredible. I think this is called BC11 Pro. I'm not sure if this is, but there's a few colors available. This is kind of a gray teal version of this, but uh, that's that. But why you're here is this laptop. Firstly, what we need to do with the laptop is make sure that the laptop is turned off, which I have done already. Let me get, where's our upper cam here? There we go. So laptop is off, right? Where do we go? I'll do. Okay, that's a bit better. And we need to unscrew this laptop. And if you don't have an iFixit kit, that's going to come very, very useful here. Let me find that Torx screw head. Which one is it? Okay, it's this one. Don't actually know what's called. Torx T5. That's what it's called. Okay, someone is saying that they, because they heard these issues with this laptop, they decided to go with something else. Which one did you go with, Horatio? Jay Plexi is saying that they also suffer from back pain. Yes, I, I will do the chair video, but um, right now it's holiday season and there's a lot of videos scheduled ahead. So when you're actually going to see this video, even though if I film it, it might be the end of August. Okay, let me try to remember which screws there are because I've actually filmed the upgrade process of this. So you're going to see something that I have actually done and you'll see a little bit of it later when this video comes out because I've got like a tutorial and all these things about this laptop coming out. But right now uh, we're doing this live. So there are three different sizes of screws on this laptop. Um, let me just try to put it a little bit this way. Okay. So these top and then these side screws are the same length. Then the top corners are different and then all of the bottom row are different uh, sizes. So make sure that you don't screw the wrong size in a wrong hole later on. So just separate them out. I've got a nice, you know, I fix it here. I can easily separate them out. Flexispot was the brand of the chair. Let me try to, uh, oh, I don't know if I can. It's going to take me too much time, but um, I'll, I'll later on in the end of the video, I'll try to link it um, in the description of the video. But right now, um, it will take too much time to do that. MacBook Pro for graphics design. Going to dedicate a box desktop for 3D modeling and game development. Yeah, very good. How's the battery life, Horatio, on the MacBook? Are you absolutely enjoying this? So, this is now all uh, undone the screws. What you need is a little, um, like a prying tool. And basically, if you take these like little fans and then use it as like a crowbar, press this back down and then you can open this up. And then we we'll pull this back lid off. Uh, let me put this just over there. Okay, as you can see, I have actually upgraded um, my laptop here. I've got 64 gigs of RAM. This is Kingston Fury, new RAM, but the video is coming out soon, not right now. First thing, let me see uh, that I'm doing exactly what we're meant to do. Power of disassemble da, 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 and unplug the two SSDs. It says that please make sure that uh, you have the correct tools or please go to the region customer service headquarters quarter to fix it. So basically, if you can't do it yourself, take it to an I fix uh, like a fix it center somewhere. Please make sure all SSDs are unplugged or it is impossible. Or that is impossible to have the risk of or that's. 
it's possible to have the risk of damage. I think there's a typo in there. Okay, so let's take the SSDs off. I'm gonna put that in there for now. And AN Adastra is saying, what software do I use for editing my thumbnails? Uh, Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. Okay, we'll just unscrew these and I'm gonna put the screws back on the bottom things. Pull both of this, these off. I've got an extra SSD that I've installed as well. By the way, oh, well, you'll see it. The video is coming out later on. But this is the OS SSD. So this is a Samsung 980 Pro, I believe. Uh, yeah, most likely. So take both of them out. Okay, now we're going to have to start up and go to setup and advanced settings and go to security and we have to disable the secure boot. So here's how we're going to do it. I'm actually going to turn the laptop on like that. Okay, we'll see if this is going to focus here. Okay, come on, keep focus to my hands. Wait, I'll do, I'll do manual focus because it's going to focus on something weird. Alrighty. Okay, there we go. So we've got the laptop on. I'm gonna oh in on the side like this. I'm gonna turn it on now. Let's see what's gonna happen. In search of incredible. Okay, we are in here now. Okay, that's a bit bright as well. You can't see that. Uh, sorry about that. Let me take. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's see if this is better now. Okay. How's the. Uh, okay, maybe this angle is a little bit better. I'll try to put this underneath here. Okay, what we have to do now is go to. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Security. Advanced settings, because it's touchscreen, it's quite easy to do. Um, I'll have to look at it upside down. For you, it's like the right way up, but now it's upside down. Security. Uh, then we're going to go secure boot. Secure boot here, and we're going to press this disabled. And then we're going to have to... Uh, save and exit interesting they don't tell you that but most likely you you will have to save changes and exit okay it's back in the BIOS now, we've saved the settings, but I'm gonna just turn the laptop off, pressed it off from the button there. Okay, it's off, and what we have to do now is put the SSDs back. Do, 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 do. Make sure that you put the same ones back in the same slots. Okay, Let's screw that one in. Let's put the other one in as well. Hmm, I wonder if I want to put this one in or something else in here. Okay, which SSD should we put in there, guys? <laughs> I'm gonna put. Uh, da, 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 da. 
maybe I've got a few of these, but only one of them. So I'm going to take the Cardia Z440. I'm going to put that one instead. Because this Kingston Fury one. Well, maybe it's going to have a problem if I... No, that's the OS. This doesn't doesn't matter. Well, I am going to put it back just in case because it did say to put back exactly the same way. I'll put the same SSD back for now. Uh, it says make sure that your laptop is turned off when actually installing um, M.2 SSDs because they're not hot swappable, if that makes sense. Put this back in there for now. Um, right, so we've done that. And now start up and go to setup again. Okay, so. Have to start this guy again. Turning the laptop on, press the power button. I haven't plugged it in. <laughs> this didn't fix it, Asus. Ah. Asus, Asus, Asus. This is bad. Okay. Looks like this did not fix uh, the issue. <laughs> oh, all righty. Well, we're going to have to look at and do it the hard way, okay? Because on Reddit thread, there was someone who, uh, <sighs> flipping heck, Asus. Um, well, let's turn it back off because there is nothing to do here. So I'm going to go to that Reddit thread. Point number one, the official, uh, you know, fix for this by Asus. It's not going to work. This does not work. Don't do that. It just doesn't do anything. Okay. Now I'm going to find that Reddit thread that I had on here. And there was actually someone who had a fix for this. Um, and I'll try to do it that way. Um, no, someone's saying, can you hit the BIOS um, shortcut key when, when you turn it on? So I think it should be like delete. If I just keep hitting delete or hold the bottle down. Let's see, it's still there. So if we turn it back off, you can try F12 or F11. It's basically you can't go to BIOS. Once your SSD is plugged in, it will, it, I don't know, it just goes straight to there for some reason. So you can't do that. So Qboot has to do with the TPM. Can you disable it? Well, we could. Oh, oops. I left the laptop on right now. So let's turn it back off. These fans stopped. Let me find this fix now for you. this in here okay all righty so basically here's what we have to do is okay
Step by step, step. Alrighty. So here's what we do. Did I had disk zero on disk? Okay, I'll just put these on the side for now. What we need to do is take the OS SSD off. What if you remove the SSD and try go back to the BIOS? And then what do we do in BIOS? Because as soon as I plug this one back in, it starts doing um, that thing again. Um, so we'll do it the hard way. So you've got your SSD out. Then you need some kind of an SSD enclosure. I've got one here. So basically, how did this all go? Oh yeah, sorry, that top comes off. So I'm just gonna plug it in there, right? And then I've got a PC in the bottom here and I'll just, okay, let's see if I can, if this is long enough cable to plug it into my PC. Okay, so we've got it in there. It's a bit of a dinky solution, but don't worry. It's not going to go anywhere. It's fine for now. Oh, uh, okay. So then I'm going to have to show you my screen. Okay, two seconds. Let me get this up there. Right. Now we're here, um, display capture. Hmm, I'm gonna have to do, 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 do two seconds. Okay, no. Just cleaning this desktop up because there's lots of things open. Alrighty. Let's see if this is, shall I? Okay, that's fine now. Display capture. Okay. So, check, check. Okay. You can still hear me. Everything's good, right? Uh, let's get that chat or comments open again as well. So you guys can see me just like that. Okay, how's this? Everybody there? Did you try to remove the battery, reconnect, and normally you can start from the beginning? Um, I don't think this is going to work, Eric, um, as much as I'd love to. Um, because... Uh, two seconds, just do this here, because um, it's the, the BIOS update is like on this SSD that's in there, so as soon as it's in there, it starts booting from the SSD and it will find a BIOS update and it tries to continue it, but it just gets logged in there. All right, there we go. So now we're in there, we've got it plugged in. We're gonna go to, okay, I'll just have to, this is a Windows 10 PC, by the way. I'll just plug these in there, move the laptop a bit out of the way, because we have to do some stuff. Um, we're gonna go to, let me see this PC. There is 
this and then lock this local disk D that's locked right now. Okay, I've got the Vulcan and this in there. What we do is we go disk part, which we've used before. Okay, and then now on disk part, we go list disk enter. And here's where we can see all these disks. Okay. Um, now there is disk two, disk three. List disk here. You can see all this. And I had the disk zero and disk one newly added from ASUS. Select disk one. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I have to. Um, I need to know which one is which the let me go back to there f okay so this is disk one so it's slotted it between the uh, c and f what i have there okay i've got secondary still i think disk one is the one that is in there so how do we know that how do we know that um And uh, we'll go here and go list disk name. Okay, can't do that. Uh, then we're going to go select disk one. Uh, list volume. Okay, okay, so it's disk. On all disks, selling folio volume for a system on disk one, Asus disk. Select volume five. This is volume five. Um, to me, it's not volume five. So basically, we have to do system volume on disk one, Asus disk. So we're going to have to select the system volume on. this so most likely volume 9 remove it and list disk again the difference will be the one you want uh, remove which ah yeah that's true that's a good idea so if I unplug this one for a minute and I'll go list disk now So it looks like I might have be actually disk four, right? Disk one is still plugged in. And now if I plug this one in, that's a good point, Jeremy. If I plug this one in now. Okay, yep, access denied. That's fine, that's fine. We're gonna go list disk. And then now, as you can see, we have disk four. So we actually have to do um, list disk uh, sorry select select disk four disk four is selected uh, list volume okay my asus most likely the asus system are we looking for a system yes system is on volume 10 right this here 260 megabytes is that the one uh, okay we need to get the system volume up there so if we have got this one so this is system okay we we'll go select volume 10 volume 10 is selected assign okay we've got a drive letter and now if you go list volume 
oh yeah look at this we've got a drive letter next to the system now here did you see what we did there yes we no actually we weren't in the boot disk jeremy this was our secondary my boot is 500 gigs and then the secondary one is one uh, terabyte one at SATA SSD in there. So luckily we weren't there. But Jeremy, thanks for your help. This this could have been bad. Okay, now we have a drive letter on the system disk on that drive. At this point, you will see letter assigned to system volume on Asus SSD. For me, it was letter E. For you, it might be different. The one due to the amount of HDDs or SSDs installed on your secondary PC. As you can see, for me, it is system E now, drive letter there on that system. Close CMS and open again. Okay. So. Command prompt. So what we'll have to do is we'll go to, to, to type in CMD. For me, it was letter E that was assigned. So what was flipping heck? What what was mine assigned to? Was it E as well? Uh, disk part uh, list volume. Oh, sorry. List disk, uh, list disk, okay, list volume, yeah, it was drive letter E for me as well. So we're going to go E, semicolon, sorry, E, semicolon, and backslash, like that, press enter. Uh, close him as a reopen. Type in CMD. For me, it was that. Type in CMD. E. Uh, let's try this. Okay, and I think we'll have to do del E, and then we'll go cap U P T B K temp. Okay, here goes nothing. Could not find E, hmm, because it's flipping uh, system. Uh, I might have to, uh, sorry, I might have to run command prompt in as an administrator. That might be the problem. Uh, let me see if, if we can do this now. E, semicolon, that. E is not recognized as an operating program or patch file. Well, let's see. Del Delete space E uh, cap O P T B K temp enter. Okay, see that worked. Everything uh, it says here that um, if everything is okay, you won't see any changes or confirmation in CMD. Okay, because that looked like that's what we just did. Did anyone see that? Okay, I'll just put it there so you can see. So we typed in not just E semicolon and then backslash, but del, right, delete here. This is what we had here. Space, E semicolon, backslash, and then this stuff, and it deletes some temporary files. Now you have to delete volume letter by typing in CMD. And again, for me, it was letter E. You might have the different letter assigned. 
Um, okay, so we're gonna close it. I'm gonna go disk part. Um, Jeremy is saying there's no way a general computer user is going to do this way above general user's capability. That's my whole flipping point. That's why this is such a bad thing for ASUS because they gave me quite a simple fix, right? Unplug it and say, you know, disable the um, secure boot. But this is not working. But that's what I'm saying. This is not what a normal person, a creator should be doing. But I'm just trying to show you this, that if you really need to follow and get this laptop fixed without losing like two or three weeks of, of usage or sending your laptop to someone, because ASUS will fix it for you because it's their problem. They've done it, you know, and basically they've bricked your laptop. But you will be without a laptop for that long. That's why I'm, um, I'm trying to fix this. This is, I mean, even for me, I'm thinking I'm quite techy guy, right? I'm, you know, running a tech channel, right? But this seems like, oh, uh, I, I don't really like doing this. So now we're back on disk part. And we're going to go uh, list volume. Oh, sorry. Uh, list disk. Okay, we have there. And then. Uh, select volume uh, sorry what which one was this list volume okay there we go as you can see for me it was volume 7 and volume the letter attached to it is E so if we go and type in now select volume E enter volume 7 is selected and then we say delete letter equals E. Press enter. Uh, okay, uh, select volume E. Um, Select volume E. I've got volume 7. I need to get rid of that volume 7 E now. There. Uh, right now, I, I think list volume. I think it's still there. Yeah. Oh, well, that little star says what's selected there. Um, delete a drive letter E. Oh, okay, maybe it's Dell. Uh, Dell. What's happening? I'm late to the party. Joshua 524. Trying to fix this flipping Asus laptop. Delete uh, letter E. Uh, actually, I'm on disk part. No, this is to, to be disk part. Or maybe I'll have to do uh, admin again. Disk part. I'm oh, sorry, disk part. Run as administrator. Yes. Alrighty. Uh, list disk. Select volume E. List volume. Okay, there we go. Delete vol. Um, delete letter. E. Uh, delete letter E. Delete. Huh, how do we do it? Remove letter. Okay, let's try. Remove letter uh, equals E. There we go. It's not delete, but remove. Remove letter E. Okay. Thanks, uh, Sergey. 
Sergei, thank you. See, I learned Russian in school, and uh, you know, comes helpful reading Russian uh, uh, Russian alphabets. Okay, now we've done this. Turn off the second PC, remove and install Asus back to your laptop. Okay, so let me just double check that we deleted that disk part. This is me just double checking this. Okay, list volume. And see, our system here, there, it hasn't got let in there. So it looks like we, we've done this. I'm going to now go in here okay so we'll take the laptop back in here I'm gonna unplug that then unplug the SSD and then let's Plug, what does it say there? Uh, if there is a, okay, turn off the, put the ASUS back into your laptop and it should be fixed now, okay? So, fingers crossed guys now. This is, this is the moment. I'll just install this one for now. Okay. Open this put this there because alrighty moment of truth turn the laptop on okay keyboard lights are on Asus come on come on give us a windows yes look at that fixed it hopefully I think <laughs> let's uh Let's not. So this is this is how we fix it. Come on, give us this Windows now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. What I want to see is if this thing is still on the Windows updates. If okay, there we go. I'll just log in. It's actually recognized my face like backwards as well. So let me, oh, where are we? This way. Okay, let me go to da, 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 backwards. We those um, oh, check for updates. Let me see if this is still there. Let me see this Windows updates. Come on. Uh, Red X, yes, we got the brick BIOS, but we uh, we we uh, we did it. But let, I just want to see if Asus is still pushing it through the Windows updates. And why don't we do it? Why don't we just update the BIOS and brick the PC again? Okay. Look at that. It's still... Ah, oh, it says it's completed. Can you see that? Asus Computer Tech Firmware, blah, blah, blah. It's there for now. Okay, it's installing some kind of Microsoft Defender and Security Intelligence, blah, blah, blah. But... For some reason, it says that one is completed. So maybe it did actually uh, complete the, the BIOS update, but somehow gets stuck after that and can't, like, reload it. Okay, let me check the updates again to see if they have pushed it again. Don't forget, secure boot is off. Oh, yeah, I'll have to go and turn it back on. Okay, that's that. Let me... Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to restart. I think it's delete still to get into the BIOS. Let's see if we can get into the BIOS. This is quite like a like a 
geeky thing but actually if you do follow this guide you're able to fix your laptop um what how long have we been live what does it say where can i see it now we've been live for what about an hour 50 minutes let's see delete okay delete i think we did it oh no Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. So basically, <laughs> it's completed, and now, we, oh my word! Oh, does anyone know what just happened? Oh, well, it was fixed for a minute. And now we're going to have to do it all flipping again. Because, oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my word. Well. Turn the laptop off. And we're going to do it again. Well, let's, let's figure out what the heck actually <laughs> was wrong with this. Because now we, we know how to do it. All right. We'll go here. Pop this back in there. Access denied. Turn the update off. Ah. They want to train you on this. Oh my word. Oh, Windows update. Did you see like literally one restart and then it's back? I mean, I can't make this drama up doing it live. Oh my word. Asus, if you're watching this. Um, do you know what? I'm going to send this live stream to my ASUS contact right now and say, dude, what on earth is going on? Um, two seconds. You have to immediately turn it off, off the updates. Well, we're going to try this now. Um, Okay, I've sent it to one of my contacts. Now I'm going to send it to my other contact as well. Okay, what am I going to say? Asus is going to have, oh my word. I mean, this is like a PR nightmare right now for Asus. Uh, what would you guys do? Is, is is there anyone still in the comments who's had this happen to their laptop? Asus laptops? Anyone in the comments? No? Anybody? Uh, Okay, sent to the other contact as well. So we'll see if they, I doubt they actually reply. Uh, I will throw it out. I had to go out, so I paused it, and now I'm 19 minutes behind. How's it going? Oh my word. <laughs> A Brit abroad in the Philippines. You might not. Uh, I just recreated the problem live. Uh, look at the chat. Okay, uh, Team Apple. 
I need to go boot in safe mode and turn on updates before install. Um, wait a second. Do they have BIOS there from ASUS websites and put it on a USB stick then over the BIOS and update the BIOS and got it fixed? Okay, that's actually... Let me see if this is possible. Actually, do they have laptop BIOSes listed on ASUS website? ASUS Pro Art studio book 16 20 23 uh, here we go no this is the 3d model let me see if this is the one specifications 3980hx laptop that's it that's the one support how do i know which one is my model um Oh, da, 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 da. Okay, this is H7604J. This is not even... Uh, okay, let me, let me show you this one here now. Okay, I'll just... I'm trying to... Uh, I'll do this one here and then... Uh, get not this one where are we here that into there so basically i'm trying to look at the model that is here so mine in the back says h7604 and then j not ji and not jv what they are suggesting here right so How to check the model name and BIOS version. When you want to download the BIOS from ASUS... Okay, let me see. It, it must be... How do I know? JI or JV? What's the difference? Anyone know? What's the difference? Let me check out the chat here because... Um, da, 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 dun, 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 I can see you guys much better in here. Alrighty. Oops. Dun 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 Uh Ask Asus please how on brick PC. Uh a lot of different is done in the wrong cause it manufacturer. That's why Apple is the best. I wonder after you first video about it I've been breaking your data on daily basis or not. Uh, I haven't backed my data, actually. Um, regional variance is Europe or Asia. Well, I bought this actually from the US market. So this came from the US. I'm in the UK. Uh, but this one is... So how do I know what is JI or JV? <laughs> is there a song playing in the background? Uh... BIOS version. Uh, see how this like problem becomes worse and worse and worse when you're trying to fix it. Okay, I'll have to guess now here. Um let let's google this. Uh, H7604 JI versus H70 What was it? 7604 7604 JV What is the difference? Mm, come on. Amazon.com says JV there. But this is not JV. This is just J. 
I don't have V in the end there. Maybe the J. So because this looks Amazon.com. So this is the one that I bought. This is the exact. Is it this one? No, this is 4060. 13th gen. This is the wrong one. Uh, oh, look, this is JV. Oh, my goodness. JV for 4060. Is it JI for 4070 then? Is that correct? So this is JV model, right? Mine is just J without the V in the end. But is it JI? Uh, let me see. Notebooks. Alrighty, let me have a look. Brand Asus. Uh, let's try price height low, probably find it easier. It was 2.4 something. There we go. 4070. Yeah, look at this. JI. Okay. JI seems to be the 4070 version and JV is 4060 version. Okay, we figured that one out. I need uh, a JV. Oh, sorry, J-I. Phew, that was close. Okay. Yeah, Nim Corco is confirming that in there. How many viewers are trying to do this? I'm not sure. I don't think anyone is doing it live with me, but I'm the only one as far as I know who's doing this like live. So drivers and tools, a BIOS and firmware. Okay, where is my, is there BIOS here? Come on. There is no BIOS update for Windows. Version 300. Okay, BIOS. Wait a second. Yeah, okay, BIOS and firmware, there we go. BIOS update, this is Windows, through Windows. Um, maybe I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna do this through the easy flash. So this is version 300, that looks the version 300 as well. Uh, but this looks to be like the one that bricks you, um, the one uh, I'm gonna do for the easy flash. So I'm gonna get a USB stick and we're gonna do it that way. So it's not gonna try to do the windows um through this here okay we'll do this off for now i'm gonna download this is the usual one so flash okay we're gonna download this show in folder um, Okay, that's the only one. So we're gonna go Control X. We're gonna paste it onto that USB stick. Um, I'm not actually bothered about my data because um, this is more like fixing because uh, I'm using a lot of different laptops just to test them and all sorts of things. This is one of those other ones that I've um, tried to test and figure out, right? So, but I'm, I don't have any critical data in there. I haven't backed anything up either. So I don't have the SSDs in there. Let's go back to this one. Okay. And we'll try to do this now. Okay. So basically what we'll have to do is we're going to plug in the USB into this USB port here. Open up the laptop. Okay, can you see it like that? That's probably the best one. I'm going to turn it back on. And then we should go straight to the BIOS now. Oh, A, someone is uh, on the comments. Um, at A is saying that 
I'm in the UK, bought the same laptop, exactly the same thing, scans computers, same problem, I had to send it back three days ago. Okay, so here we are, we're probably going to have to go to advanced settings. Um, okay, about, where is the easy flash? Okay, the, 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 where is security? I'm going to turn the secure boot. Ah, secure boot is back enabled. What is my BIOS version, by the way? Let me go back here. No, it is 300. I've got that BIOS version. So there's no point in updating this one. But, well, let's try it just in case because maybe it, like, crashed the BIOS somehow. Um, so... It's so hard to do it backwards. Uh, where is it? Oh, uh, where is the easy flash? Uh. Fast boot, advanced, main. Asus firmware updates. Is this the one? Boot. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Launch. No. Let me see if anyone's... Okay, I'm trying to find it. It's not like the normal BIOS, what you see on... Does it say anywhere there? Select. Okay. Uh, shell from the boot. No. I think it's in here. What was it? Advanced. Asus Framework Update. Okay, there we go. I've got that drive in there. This is the one. Okay, I'm going to confirm this update. Okay, I'll have to plug the power in. Is it plugged in? Yep, that's in there. Oops. Okay, AC power is on. I'm going to press confirm. Hello, you doing anything? Are you sure you want to update version da da da? Yes, I'm going to update it anyway. Because I don't know if my BIOS was properly updated or not. So, um... Okay, found it. So while this is going on, I'm going to have to fix that SSD again. Uh, remember how we did that one? I'll have to remind myself now. All right, we're going to go to here. Okay, let me bring that one back up there, remind myself. So we're going to go to disk part. Okay, remember, run as administrator. Um... Okay, our SSD is in. We're going to go list disk. It's disk 4, okay. List volume. Uh, volume 7 again. Select volume 7. And then we're going to press assign. Okay, list volume. As you can see, we've got letter E attached to it. Then we're going to go command prompt run as administrator. Uh, 
to fix his laptop, but is worth buying an Android over the K model. I have no problem buying the KS model, but is it better for that? It is slightly better. Uh, Shake, uh, sorry, I can't see. Is it Shake SH4KE? It is slightly better. Um, it is better, but is it better bang for the buck? Not really. If you're looking for the best creator, um, like video and photo editing CPU, then most likely that's going to be um, the one for you, Shake. Uh, so where are we? Okay, Windows there. Now we're going to have to say... Um, delete E backslash cap update BK temp okay it's done that we're gonna back to a disk part run as administrator um, list volume okay we'd select volume 7 remove letter equals e okay list volume okay we've done it that looks to be good now again our SSD is fixed well that was a bit faster wasn't it this time the last time um, alrighty so now once we've done this one this blog has actually you know updated its firmware now here as you can see we're back in here let's turn this guy off go off don't start it again go off hey just go off okay stay off stay off Okay, it's because the power plug is attached. And I'll just... Okay, when the power plug is not attached, you can actually turn it off. Now we're back off. Uh, take this SSD off there. Okay. Remove. Alrighty. There we go. Let's put this one back in there. Okay. Our SSD is installed. Okay, the laptop's turning on. Okay, turned back off. We'll try it again. Give us that Asus and then Windows little logo circle thing there. Okay, there we go. We're back there. Uh, Gear, Gear DOS, uh, I would agree with you, but I think for most people, um, when we're saying this happens, they're thinking, oh goodness me, it's bricked. There you go, look at that, backwards. No, looks at me as well. Okay, I'm gonna go and turn the Windows updates off straight away. Update. Check for updates. 
please quickly turn it off. Okay, now the updates are turned off, right? Let me see if we can restart the PC without breaking it. It's really good that the BIOS is still intact. Yes, indeed. But it's just basically the problem is Asus pushed like a firmware update through. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Oh my flipping goodness. Oh. Any other ideas, guys? <laughs> oh my word. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Um, it does not flip and fix it. Oh my word. Goodness me. Asus, Asus, Asus. Um... Okay, someone says that after disabling the firmware in device manager, so it seems like we have to do Oh my word. Do you not imagine your laptop from the time you bought it? Yeah. Send it back until the fix your problem. The 3.5k, you expect something stable. Uh, then roll back the previous restore point. There should be no automate. Okay, I've got one more idea. If it comes through Windows, why don't we, as soon as we get to the Windows, um, I'm going to wipe the windows like make it from scratch start it from zero because there's obviously something from windows that makes the as soon as you plug and restart it thinks oh we need to like update this again so i'm gonna reset the whole thing now so if you've got any data on it it's gonna go yeah, I know it's fucking access denied. So I'm, I don't have to show you this now because I've done it three times. Um, Jonathan is saying find firmware and disable all three device firmware. Lattice AI camera and ProArt Studiobook UEFI. I did first disable only AI camera thinking it was all this year, but open restart, I ended up having the same issue. So disable all three and restart the PC. If it's starting on Windows, you are all set. Only choice at this point. Please go through the last step. That's from the Reddit fix. Okay, Jonathan. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Okay. Uh, disk part. Just going to do this here now. Uh, list volume. Uh, select volume seven, assign. List volume 
this E in there. So now we have to do command prompt run as administrator. Delete. Hey, excuse me. Delete E backslash. Um, cap up date up b k temp that's done and disk part on this administrator list volume select volume 7 remove letter E okay list volume list volume okay that's done all right that was fast wasn't it guys this time oh my word remove alrighty so that's on now we should be getting into windows um, I know gear dust this was literally if you look at the reddit post I noticed this like when this Reddit post was commented, uh, I mean listed maybe like seven hours ago and there was already like 51 comments or some people like, I can't believe this happened to me and some of the other laptops this happened as well. I would be so curious. I would actually like to see how... Is it turning back on or not? All right, there we go. Righty. Come on, let's get that Wi-Fi off. Don't be doing anything like that. So um, I'm going to go display settings. I want to just, sorry, because... I know this is not upside down for me, but I can't turn it the other way. I want to display orientation. Landscape flipped this way. Yeah, there we go. Keep changes for now. So what do I have to do now? Um, I have to go to in device manager find three firmware devices okay let's go to um device manager oh my word it's upside down now device manager okay okay see these three firmware um here firmware device ai camera and this and what do i have to do and on each one roll back the drivers and then disable each uh how do i roll back drivers anyone know how to roll back drivers jonathan help me out here Rolling out, rolling back drivers. Properties. Driver. Uh, driver details. Roll back drivers. It's grayed out. Uh, 
uh, why is it grayed out? Okay, I'm gonna try the properties driver. Okay, the AI camera, I can roll back drivers. My app don't work with these drivers, okay. That rolled back drivers. Let's see the UEFI properties driver. Okay, rollback driver didn't work. You administrator? Uh, yes, I'm for sure. I am administrator. Let me just open the device manager. Let me see if. Uh, Device manager. Well, I'm. This is the only user. This is definitely administrator. So far, what? Let me see. Okay. Why is it not even device? Okay. I'm just gonna see if I've. I have. driver okay i've rolled back this driver uh, and then i'm going to disable this device properties drivers okay it's rolled back disable device yes okay Properties, drivers, yes, and then we're going to disable device as well. So all three have been disabled now. Right. I'm going to close this. And then I'm going to change this back to you so you can see what the heck's going on. Uh, oh, sorry. Landscape. Keep changes. Okay, um, did I contact Asus support? Even better, I emailed and contacted my direct um, contact from H Asus HQ. And obviously we did try their fix early on in the stream and this did work. Uh, okay. So let's see if Jonathan restart now, right? Come on, Jonathan seems to be the guy with the with the knowledge and this stream. Shall we restart? Jonathan, come on. Because I don't want to do it again. Seems like you have done it before. Yes, come on. Let's try. Jonathan says, no, I'm not the guy. <laughs> All righty. All righty. This looks good. This looks like we have fixed it now. We just did. Oh, my word. This looks good. Alchemer Chrome, come on. Jonathan, which laptop did you have? Do you have exactly the same laptop? Okay, it's back on now. I'll just... Okay. We are back in here. Here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to put Wi-Fi back on. We're going to go back to Windows updates and see if this has been pushed through there. Uh, check for updates. Come on then. Here we go. Let's resume updates. I want to see what happens. So basically there's some kind of firmware stuff okay this is cumulative updates for windows that's all right i guess
Okay. Looks like we might have just fixed it. Let me just turn that off. Now let me plug back. Ooh, those heat pipes are warm. Come on. Turn off. Um, okay, I'll have to turn it off from here then. Try restarting once more. I will do that in one second. Okay, why is it not turning off? Okay, now it's turned off. It took its time. I'm just going to plug the other SSD in as well. And where's the... There it is. Let's see. Hey, how is DPC latency on this laptop? What do you mean DPC? Do you know if there is still underlying issues? Um, yeah, the issue is that their BIOS updating program is broken. And whatever that firmware, well, they might send through an update through Windows later on where that re-enables those firmwares and you can get update these. But right now, we seem to have fixed uh, this laptop. But the annoying thing is, if you don't have a secondary device, you're not able to actually fix the laptop. You need a second PC or your friend's laptop or something to actually do that, which is absolutely crazy. You can still do manual updates, and I think you can... Well, it looks like it's working, guys. And... Look at that. Sometimes not all of the fans are churning. Come on, turn it off. Actually, I don't need to wait for it to turn off. I just need to plug that back on. Alrighty. So, make sure you put the right screws back in the right place. I did it. I'm so glad uh, that we actually did it because I thought I, I scheduled the live stream. You can see the thumbnail because I thought, okay, we can fix it. I was hoping we can fix it to the Asus method because that would have been very good for Asus. Look, here's how you do it. It's quite simple. Everyone can do it. But obviously, it didn't work that way. And we had to go through uh, the back streets of, you know... Azerbaijan to get this fax fixed. No offense about Azerbaijan, by the way. Disk part is a dangerous program too if you don't know what you're doing. Indeed, if you select the wrong disk and hit clean or delete or whatever, um, yeah, you can wipe the wrong disk instantly. Boom. But it's also a very good program, very powerful if you know what you are doing. Alrighty, so which ones are now the... Look at these two. They go in the corners.
Asus can put this live stream on their website now to show people how to fix it. <laughs> It's really hard for an Nintechi Kai. Yes, it is quite difficult, but I believe that if anybody has this laptop, has to get it fixed within 24 hours, I think you can watch this live stream, follow my steps, and you should be able to do it in an hour and a half, two hours max, which is much better than trying to organize your laptop, drop off, get it somewhere, and get it sent off for two weeks, and then get it fixed. So I want this to be available for anyone to see that you can do that. Uh, Jonathan, yes. Uh, I asked my contact from Asus and they gave me a fix, which we tried to do in the beginning of the stream, which didn't work. Um, but then we went through the Reddit posts and then fixed it that way. Okay. Alrighty, we are back on here. 24% of battery. And looks like we have uh, we have fixed the laptop. It's working. As you can see, this is how you do it. Um, the sad thing for me is, and I want to finish this live stream uh, with this, is because... Asus, in my heart, has a very special place because that Pro Art line is a very, very unique thing that Asus is doing for creators, right? And you can see on my channel that I'm loving everything that Pro Art is doing because that's like the only brand that Asus is big enough of a company to have like a side brand that they can, you know, ditch some cash in and possibly not make a lot of profit because the gaming stuff makes so much more profit than the creator stuff and not as much sale. But... This is meant for creators. They've put thousands and thousands of hours on these devices to make them amazing for creators. And that's why I'm loving them, right? All of the Pro Art, ZenBook and VivaBook lines are like kind of creator lines and I'm loving this. The sad thing for me is when something like this happens where they have pushed out an update. I don't know why, right? To us, it looks very bad. There might be a fairly... Um, you know, reasonable explanation for this from their side. Uh, perhaps someone says that this might be even Microsoft's fault, Windows fault. We don't know, right? But it looks like Asus is the one to blame because it happens to their laptops and to their high-end Pro Art laptops. To me, it still looks like Asus didn't test this on their laptops. They didn't test like a private update uh, through windows and then let it update to see if this is actually working this is asus's highest end creator laptops and this should not happen to them because it's not just a hobby that someone's doing someone's um, like living is based and depending on this laptop because they're earning a living on this so do do you understand do you get my kind of complex i'm loving this and as much as i'd love to uh, show all the good sides to the people who have used this. I can't not tell you the bad sides uh, either when this has happened, especially when it's happened to me. So that's that. Um, yes. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Jonathan, thanks for your help as well. Uh, too many SKUs that is impossible to test each variant of these laptops. I believe not 100% or 50% of Pro Art were affected. Um, I, I don't know um, because I'm not sure if the update was pushed to all of the laptops. Uh, but I don't know. Whoever was working on the firmware update for this Asus Pro Art Studiobook firmware update that team should have also tested it through Windows. Um, unless they did test it. Well, they must have tested it, right? It, it's You can't make an update and then just push it out without testing it. They must have tested it, but somehow they didn't test all of it or something. Anyway, do you know what I mean? Thank you very much, guys, for uh, watching this live stream one more time. 
Um, Moldy Apple is saying latency issues on 12th and 13th gen. Tech City did um, something on it. I've seen a few comments on it. I haven't seen um, tech, that video on Tech City yet. I haven't noticed any latency issues. My 3900K runs brilliant in there. The only bit kind of bad is um, about Explorer crashing sometimes, but that's it. Uh, one more time, I want to say thank you, everybody watching. This is how you fix this laptop. This is how you can do it. And hopefully following step by step this, anyone can do it. And one more time, I want to say thanks for Hookies for sponsoring this video. And uh, let's end with a little uh, sponsor segment from then. Looking for a cheap way to license your Windows? Check out Hookies through the links in the video description. Make sure to use the code TN20 to get a 30% off. Paste the license to the activation settings and you're all done. This license is for Windows 10, but you can upgrade it to Windows 11 for free. They also offer Microsoft Office 19 license. Use the same code TN20 to get a 30% off. Check out hookies.com in the video description below.